Also new at 5, a city council committee has advanced Mayor Lightfoot's pick to head the Civilian Office of Police Accountability. But she's still facing resistance from many city council members. WGN political reporter Taman Bradley here with more on that story. Taman. Micah and Ray, Andrea Kirsten has served as the interim COPA chief administrator since May 2021. And last November, Mayor Lightfoot nominated her for the position permanently. But she's run into opposition at city council. Today, City Council's Public Safety Committee signed off on Mayor Lightfoot's pick to lead the agency that investigates police misconduct. There are nine yeas or ayes, six noes or nays. The matter passes. Before the vote, there were fireworks. If COPA is ready to highlight mistakes made by police officers and hold them accountable, it would be hypocritical if this City Council did not do the same to the members of COPA. At issue is Andrea Kirsten's handling of the release of a report about the 2019 botched raid at the home of Anjanette Young, which said that Officer Ella French should be suspended because she failed to activate her body-worn camera and document the detention and search of a male and his vehicle that night. The report was completed in February 2021, but it was not made public until three months after French was murdered conducting a traffic stop in West Inglewood. As the acting head of the Civilian Office of Police Accountability, Kirsten says she followed the law, but admits she should have talked to French's family before the report came out. I will always uh, feel sorry for the fact and apologize for the fact that that hurt Officer French's family. To Alderman Nick Spazzato, the apology rings hollow. There's no doubt in my mind there could have been an addendum added to this report, and there's no doubt in my mind that the family could have been given a heads up without breaking any rules or laws or whatever. Spasato is also upset that Kirsten refused to talk to him about COPA's investigation into the deadly 2015 shooting of Quintonio Legrier and Betty Jones. COPA recommended that Officer Robert Rialmo be fired, but former CPD Superintendent Eddie Johnson disagreed. In 2019, the police board voted to dismiss Rialmo. A spokesman for COPA responded to Spasato's claim, saying, We've had a long-standing practice and process in place to shield investigators and deputy chiefs, which Kirsten was at the time, from any outside influence or political pressure. So for Alderman Spasato to call Kirsten at that time was highly inappropriate. And today his action gives the appearance that this is retaliatory and not based on her qualifications as chief administrator, which she has demonstrated to be suitable for the job. Kirsten's supporters say she's earned the full-time job. We need to have a strong independent leader um, at COPA to make the difficult decisions that need to be made. A final vote on Kirsten is set for February 23rd. Mike Henry. Thank you, Taman. Just ahead, protests over vaccine mandates at the U.S.